London is perhaps the most competitive city. It has a huge number of five-star hotels. The eclectic mix of international and national travellers that are so discerning and require such a high level of service is why London will always strive and achieve the style of service that Forbes has awarded us for. History is part of Brown's DNA, not only being the oldest hotel, we've been visited by a huge number of luminaries over the years. Um, yes, literary, art, fashion, luxury goods. We're sitting in the Kipling suite named after Rudyard Kipling. Um, he penned uh, the Jungle Book whilst he was staying at Brown's and we have a letter to, uh, of provenance of that. I think the Brits are hugely resilient um, and we hope that many people in the world will also be as resilient as we are and as optimistic. Uh, with the current chaos in the world, it is not a rosy future. Um, we are safeguarding our team members and taking all the precautions that we possibly can in relation to the government's uh, rulings. Um, and we, we are actually continuing to have a healthy business down on this time last year, as one would expect. We call it an English mansion hotel. There's a huge sense of history here. It's been a hotel since 1922, so we very soon will be celebrating our centenary. Uh, but it's not always been a hotel, it's been a private house. It's had a, a, a wonderful sense of place and history. Um, the whole Royal Connection with Kensington Palace directly opposite, um, that, that whole link is really, really important to us. We face the largest green space in London, which I love to talk to my American uh, audiences about. And it's just a great, it's a great area to explore London. Um, this is an area that's great for leisure. Some guests who perhaps decided to change their travel arrangements um, have maybe said, OK, we're going to come a, a month later or two months later, we're just going to wait for things to die down a bit. So we're trying to take a very sort of sensible, acknowledging what's going on and, and be aware of it and take useful precautions, but not go crazy so that you disincentivize people to come to London at all.
got to have incredible bedrooms, you've got to have you know, very visual appointments, you've got to have the standards of carpets and curtains, all the things that people very much take for granted in the five star market. But the balance of, of increased service has swung, so there's less emphasis on the facility being the end, be on end all, and more about the service coming more and more. In fact, Forbes actually, as, as, a, as a standard, be a Forbes five star hotel, you have more service standards measured than you, you do facility without dismissing the facility importance. London's one of the great capitals of the world, you know, uh, selfishly and, and biased, I would say it's the great capital of the world, but I think it, it, it just speaks volumes for for the city, you know, it's, it's endurance throughout the years of, of, you know, strength, it's always been a strong place for hotels, many leading hotels have always sort of been here and, and had their home here, and, and you know, it's also a place that, that uh, you want as a manager, you're starting to come and work in, uh, you know, and, and I think it attracts the very best.